Hi, thanks for coming to my presentation. My name is Jackson Roberts and I'm a software developer from Boulder, Colorado in the United States. Today, I'll be talking about my project Moracle, which is a tool to help developers build apps with the Lisk SDK that can access external data. First, I'd like to thank the team behind Lisk. This project was supported by a grant issued in 2020 through the Lisk Builders Program. Lightcurve does an amazing job supporting the developer community, and I really appreciate it. To start off, what problem were you solving? As you're probably aware, blockchain applications must be deterministic. That is, all nodes in the network must be able to replay transactions and arrive at the same shared state. This means that blockchain apps cannot access data from the open internet because the internet is a non-deterministic place. If a blockchain relies on an external web service, and that web service goes down or changes, the entire network could lose consensus. This is a really big problem, and other people have created potential solutions before. So why are we building a new Oracle for Lisk? Single chain systems like Ethereum already have multiple Oracle solutions. However, all of these existing solutions rely on a smart contract infrastructure. In these environments, projects can coexist and cause congestion in a single chain. Lisk, on the other hand, is designed for scalability, so it does not use a single blockchain for all projects. But this also means that existing Oracle solutions won't work, and that's why we're building a new one. We're using a lot of cool, modern Lisk SDK technology for the new version of Moracle. We use plugins and WebSocket communication channels to send information between Lisk SDK apps and the Moracle Resolver nodes. We also use the new module system to allow developers to configure and store any type of data in their blockchain's accounts. Here's an example application which is powered by a blockchain oracle. Suppose we want to offer a decentralized form of travel insurance. The user can post up a small number of tokens and receive a larger payout if their flight is delayed. It has several components as illustrated by this diagram. Within the travel insurance module, the account state is configured to store the user's active insurance policies and flight numbers, the lifespan of their claims, and their current status. It also defines several custom transactions to create an insurance policy, request a payout from an insurance policy, a callback transaction to process data from oracles, and a transaction to cancel an insurance policy. It also includes a Moracle plugin, which provides a method that listens for specific transactions in order to notify oracles of a data request. Let's go through this example use case step by step. First, the user creates a policy. For example, they purchase an insurance policy paying 100 LISC for 10 LISC on flight F-154. The transaction is finalized, and the user's new account state is updated with details about their insurance policy. Oh no, the user's flight is late and they want to make a claim on their policy. The user sends a transaction representing their insurance claim. This is noted in their account state and the Moracle plugin sends information about the flight that the app needs data on to a Moracle resolver node. We'll explain exactly what that is later. Once the Moracle network reaches consensus, a node sends a callback transaction providing data that the flight is, in fact, delayed. This results in the user getting compensation. So how does this all work? Well, Moracle provides Lisk SDK users with the following two things. First, a Lisk SDK plugin which listens to a developer-provided set of transactions which are monitored through the app transaction new channel. This plugin publishes updates to Moracle resolver nodes through a WebSocket channel. Second, Moracle provides a library of utility functions which can be used to implement transactions that invoke requests for external data and respond to the results. The flow of a transaction which uses Moracle looks like this. First, we have a transaction which initiates a request for data. This transaction is picked up by Moracle's Lisk SDK plugin, which publishes the request for data to Moracle resolver nodes over WebSocket. A Moracle Resolver node is an off-chain process which simply receives requests from a Lisk plugin. It communicates with its peers to produce a signed consensus which is transported back on-chain via a callback transaction. 
The blockchain transaction logic validates the multi-signature consensus message to ensure that it has the right number of signatures from resolvers that the developer trusts. This process works for a wide variety of data. You can use it for any HTTP API, to fetch the prices of various crypto assets, or to get information about transactions and accounts on other LISC-powered blockchains. Here's another example use case for a blockchain oracle. Suppose you've just released a new sidechain and you want to distribute tokens in a low friction way. A great way to do that is to airdrop them to existing LISC holders. Previously, you would have had to build a centralized faucet to do that, but with an oracle, you can do it right in your app. Like the previous example, it includes a custom module and the Moracle plugin. The airdrop module is very simple. Accounts store a record of whether they have claimed their airdrop or not, and it implements two transactions, one to request an airdrop, and another to serve as a callback for the Moracle resolvers to return balance information to. It includes the same Moracle plugin as our first example, but listens for a different transaction type. The process of getting the airdrop is straightforward for the user. First, the user sends a transaction requesting the airdrop. The plugin is notified of this, and it sends a notification to the resolver. In the second step, the network reaches consensus and sends a callback transaction, allowing the blockchain application logic to update the user's balance appropriately based on their main chain LISC balance. Moracle enables all kinds of new LISC SDK powered apps. You could reward open source contributors with tokens based on GitHub data. Credit to Tom from Endro for that idea. You could build cross-chain swaps or airdrops with ease. And perhaps most importantly, you can connect blockchains with legacy enterprise systems. This is all coming very soon to LISC SDK 5.0. If you want to learn more, you can check out our website at moracle.network or contact me directly on Discord. Thank you so much for watching.